Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, and neither is this bloke. This is Frosty2 from 2AR Clan, one of the callers. I don't want to give too many of their secrets away, but he's been doing a bit of calling for them. If you're looking for a clan and you're not that confident of doing tier 10s, you want to do some tier 6 skirmishes, some platoons, some general good times, and of course tier 8 clan wars. Give 2AR a whirl. A great bunch of people, including this bloke. Frosty 2 from 2AR. He's in the box tank, the SU-100Y. And I know some people don't like this, but he's doing a bit of boosting early on. Oh, Prokhorovka. Uh, the Battle of Cursed, I think it was, Prokhorovka. And he's getting up here in his box tank, the SU-100Y. In this Tier 8 game, only three Tier 8s on each team. Sitting back in this bush, going to get the camo net and the binos going. And he's going to do a little bit of... Um, Shooting the shit out of these tanks. It's got a pretty decent gun for a tier 6, 130mm gun. 440 damage, 196 penetration with standard rounds. Sorry, it's 196, maybe that's premium rounds. 171 for 500 damage with this other kind of AP rounds and of course high explosive. Does a little bit more for a little bit less penetration. Anyways, kicking back, looking to try and support his mates up on the hill from this position. And you can sort of see there if the enemy team actually get on the hill from this boosted position he'll be able to get shots into their tanks there's uh three tier eights on each side as i mentioned earlier turning around he's got a good view on that amx m449 i hope that's not me in that tank takes him for 389 hit points of damage doesn't get spotted the premium french heavy tank still looking the other way now a lot of a lot of people some people love these boost positions, some people hate. Just goes a little bit wide, but his uh, teammates pick up the kill. He actually got the assisted, some assisted damage for that, 64 assisted damage uh, from the from the snipers on the hill. Now, this isn't going to be a replay full of boosting, um, but look, it's part of the game, and Frosty will tell you this, it's, part of the, it's in the game at the moment. It might be changing very soon, but it's in the game at the moment, so you know he's not cheating, he's not doing anything illegal. He's just getting up there into a different position and dropping some big sh big Russian shells on the enemy tank's heads. Two zips to score. He's on 389 damage from that shot into the AMX M449. Good tank to get rid of early, and that's what Frosty will be thinking. They've already gotten rid of three enemy tanks, a tier six, a tier seven, and a tier eight. And now he's looking to try and help his teammates to the east, but he doesn't have shots, so he's looking at that OI thinking, gee, I'd love to land a shot on the side of the turret. It'll be nice. 425 damage for that shell. Actually rolled a little bit low, but um, he'll take that any day of the week. Three fours are scored now. A few of the friendly tanks went down, including the Lorraine 42, who picked up two of the kills. Uh, and AMX M445 at T7 and a couple of T6s. Four all the score now as the Cromwell goes down to the artillery. Didn't see where that was happening. And Frosty just kicking back on the railway lines here. He's in a T6 tank in a tier 8 battle. There's no armour on this thing whatsoever. Uh, look, every now and then you might pull off a freaky bounce, but you don't want to be relying on that big box to um, bounce shots from the enemy. Only one tank left on that hill. Looks like the enemy team really had a red hot go on that hill. It's just the T3485M, the premium tier 6 Russian medium tank, the one that was sort of given away for free not so long ago on the Asian server. Four fives to score, they're down by one tank. Frosty knows he needs to keep his gun singing and he's looking at the side of that tiger and thinking, I oh, love some of that. That would be beautiful, but it just goes a little bit wide. Oh, he'll be shaking his head. See, Russian accuracy, I guess. You can't, um, can't complain there. 235 m that'd be a nice juicy target as well, but probably better off getting rid of a tier 7 if he can. But he's just gone behind some houses, picks up some more assisted damage. Obviously nothing wrong with the view range in this tier 6 Russian tank destroyer. It is a premium tank, and it's a tank that I've got. It's very, very fun to play. Gets spotted, will be spotted by that Lorraine, so before he... Um, before he runs away, gets a shell into the auto-loading tier 8 premium French medium tank. And of course, that guy is also on two kills. Uh, looks like he's copying some damage. Will Frosty be able to? Yes, he will! Picks up his first kill of the game, getting rid of a tier 8, which is always a good feeling. In a tier 6 tank, the big derp shell of the SU-100Y. He'll be hoping artillery is not looking his way. Cromwell certainly is. 
Cromwell just put a shot into his big box tank. Box tank. He's down to 247 hit points. The SU 100 Y starts with 700, so he's on what's that, about 40% health. 35. Clearly looking at that T3485. A lot of map pinging going on. Auto aims. Looks like he might. No, he's not turning his way, so Frosty 2 says, that's all right. You don't have to aim my way. I'll aim your way. And we'll call it even. Eight sevens a score. Finally, artillery pays uh, Frosty a little bit of a little bit of attention. Kills his gunner and takes him for just 86 hit points, and that's the that's the good thing, I guess. Now of artillery, it's not as as game destroying as it once was with its uh, stun and its splash. He loses his gunner, but he fixes him with a quick tap of the forekey. And now he's aiming again towards that Tiger One. Just one shot is all he's going to need. Doesn't manage to get him. He knocks the house out that he might have been hiding behind, though, which might help his teammates get rid of him. 8 sevens to score. He's on 1878 hit points of damage, which is more than double the hit points that he brought to the game. Again, aiming towards that T3485. That's the normal one. It's not the T3485M. That's the one. The M is the one that they gave away. 9 eights to score. Super Persian goes down, though. Fires a little bit late or early, depending on your point of view. Doesn't quite get the kill shot on that T-3485. It certainly would have been a kill shot. Focusing towards the Tiger now. Uh, the Tiger not not presenting inside. Uh, the T-20 is going to have to deal with it. Unless that artillery did. Yes, he did. Artillery does exactly the right thing. Gets rid of a tier 7 heavy out of the game. The only tier 8 left on the enemy side is that artillery, the GW Tiger P. Gee, that was a pain in the ass when I had that one, I tell you. But, Frosty 2, getting serious now. He's on 161 hit points. He's on 1878 damage. Two kills, tier 8 game, tier 6 tank destroyer. And this is what turns good games into great games. Choosing his moment to move forward. You can see the enemy has an SU-100Y as well. Up in the northeast, he knows he won't have a shot there. He's, he's down too low to the ground. The Churchill 7 gets taken out. The T6 pretty Chevy tank. Goes down to the VK-30-01D, which is a T6 as well. 10 nines a score now. He doesn't want to throw this one away. He knows he's got his carry pants on. He wants to support, wants to support that T20, because that T20 will soon have vision on the... Um, SU-100 Y. Thank you. T-3485. Good night, Irene. That's three kills to Frosty 2 from 2AR. T-20 moving up closer and closer to that SU-100 Y. But that, that T-20 on very low health. What's he on? 46 hit points. Easily a kill for um, that enemy SU-100 Y. If he goes for it. No idea what kind of health the enemy box tanks on. 12 nines to score. You... It was in the balance for a little while, but Frosty 2 is certainly doing his job. 2,323 hit points of damage for his three kills. He's also got 541 assisted damage. You'll be thinking, this isn't looking too bad. And somehow, that SU-100Y has gone down into that little creek and um, evaded the, the vision of that T-120. Frosty moving into a position where if that SU-100Y shoots, he should be able to get to him, get a shot off and back off hopefully. The IKV 65-2 on the other side of the map looks like he's engaging the J Panther, the T-3485M snipes him out from the centre of the map and Frosty 2 hoping that the enemy box tank is aiming the other way. He is so he turns around auto aims, puts a shell into his side and continues to move trying to make it as hard as he can for that SU-100 wide to shoot him because it will be all over if he does. Enemy artillery Kills the T120, and Frosty says, Hold my beer, I got this. That's four kills. Gets rid of the enemy SU100 Y, the box tank, and you can see the T3485M and the IKV65 number two going for the GW Tiger P to clean it up and make it a win on Prokhorovka. Let's have a quick look at the post game battle results. It's a mark of excellence. Always pretty good feeling when you pick up a mark of excellence. I don't have many of them, clearly, but 
Always a pretty good feeling when you get one of them. Of course, it's a nice take of mastery badge. You'd expect nothing less from Frosty 2 from 2AR. Uh, the fighter for getting four or five kills. Five for effect and the high caliber. Doing the most damage in a tier eight game. Whilst in a tier six, tank destroyer is no mean feat. And that I'm, that is an absolute ripper. 1,342 base experience. That's a base score. That's without daily double or anything like that. That's the base score. There is a bonus if you're low tier, and of course Frosty made the most of that. 3,023 hit points of damage. Only one other player, the artillery, hit 2,000. Everyone else did less than half what Frosty did in that game. A couple of players hit the 2,000 mark on the enemy side. 12 shots fired, 8 hit, 8 went through, 1,599 sniped. You'd expect that in a T6 tank destroyer. 3,023 damage done. A little bit of assisted. That was enough for an ace tanker. And look at those credits with a premium account. Over 64,000 credits. After tax, and of course he was just firing standard rounds, I think, in the mighty, mighty box tank. The SU-100 Y Frosty 2 from 2AR. And as I said earlier, and as I said in a different video, if you're looking for a clan that might be doing Tier 8 clan wars, Tier 6 skirmishes, maybe even Tier 8 skirmishes and lots of good times and fun, consider 2AR. They are a great bunch of blokes. They share the same team speak as 1AR, so you can platoon with me and some of the other 1AR players as well. They both clans platoon together and have good times together and, of course, shenanigans on a Saturday night. Thank you very much for the replay, Frosty. Absolute ripper. Keep up the good work. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time.